Yo, what's up? Hope you guys are doing well. It's been a while since I've been out on the water for a fishing vlog. It's been about a month, I think. It's pretty warm out. We're gonna see if we can go down to the river and find some fish. We're on my home water here. I'm pretty excited to get down there and see what's going on. Brought a dry fly rod, a nymphing rod. Gonna kind of see what's going on on the water, which ta tactic is gonna work the best, and kind of go from there. It is pretty warm out, so gonna have to do some uh, temperature readings on the water just to make sure we're in that safe zone. And we're gonna have to be off the water by about noon. So just a few hours this morning to kind of get it done, see what's going on, see if we can find some fish. And I'm excited to get down there, so let's go check it out. I made my way down to the water and I took a temp reading of the water. Temperatures look okay for right now, so we'll get to fishing while we can. There's a lot of caddis fluttering around the banks, so I'm gonna start out with a dry fly rod and a single caddis and see if I can find some fish that way first. And then if that doesn't produce, we'll move on to a different technique. But let's see if we can get that to work. It'd be pretty cool if we could, so let's get going. Okay, kind of got out to my first spot here. Got the nine foot three weight going. Small caddis pattern that I tied up yesterday. See if we can get fish to eat a caddis here to start the day. I have no idea if they will, but it's always worth trying just to see. So I'm hoping if I continue up this bank, I'll find some fish they'll eat a dry fly because there's a lot of caddis on the side of this bank, so I'm hoping there'll be some fish tucked up on this edge. Dropped back in the run again. Oh, I missed one on the ant. Let's see if we can get another one on it. It actually sticks. So I missed that one, which is a bit of a bummer. Looked like a decent fish. I'm trying to decide if I should I'm gonna switch to a nymph now. Okay, I switched to a little caddis nymph just because there's so many caddis around. And I'm gonna see if we can get a fish on a caddis here. We had a couple takers on the dry and just missed them. So let's see if we can find something on a nymph here. There's a fish. Feels like a little guy. Oh, it's a decent fish. Nice little rainbow. I should mention I'm not gonna hold these guys out of the water very long because I don't I don't want them to get hurt. So I'm just gonna show them to you quick and then move on. Pretty cool little rainbow. And we'll let him go. Okay, so the last fly I had on was a size 14. This is a 16 with a little bit smaller bead. Just wanna see if maybe, I think the caddis are a little bit smaller than the fly I had on. So I'm gonna try a little bit smaller bead and smaller fly and see if it changes the outcome a little bit to make sure if there's any fish that eat real quick in the shallow stuff, that I don't miss them. There's a fish, nice fish. A little bit bigger than the last one, I think. Yep, a little bit. Pretty wild fish. I'm gonna show them to you guys and then get them released. There he is. Ate the waltz worm and we I'll let them go. Caddis rig going on here. Small nymph, small caddis dry. I just want to see if we can get them to eat a caddis dry. Oh, there's a little one missed the dry. There's a fish. Looks like a good fish. I knew there'd be one in that pocket there. Oh, not real big. But it's a fish. And on the dry dropper. Get him unhooked and released real quick. Little guy there. And he's gone. Okay, so that's cool. We found a few fish. Um, 
mostly smaller fish. I'm gonna continue up this bank. There's a few more kind of like pockets that I wanna check out. And then there's one other spot we'll hit and then we're gonna go find some cooler water drive about 15 miles upstream and see what that's like. Got a few fish on the caddis nymph, uh, the caddis dry, we got one which is cool, smaller fish, but still cool. And we're having some success, so that's always good. So I'm gonna keep working up this bank and try to find some more fish. Okay, drain my fly off. Get a little bit better float here. There's a fish, a little bit better fish. And those others. Eat the caddis. I don't want him to get below stream from me. So I can show him to you guys. There's a better fish there. Much better fish on the caddis. Still mostly little guys, but take that guy. There. Okay, new spot. Just drove up the road a little bit. I'm just gonna try this one spot for just a little while. I don't want the water to get too warm on these fish, so I'm just gonna try this spot for a little while, move on and find some, uh, some colder water upstream after this. So let's give this a try and see if we can find some real quick. I'm gonna give it a go real quick. There's a fish. Ooh. Nice. Oh, it's running everywhere. Just a little guy. We'll let him go. Let's let you go real quick. There you go. There's a fish. Nice, not big, but we'll take it. Oh, he flipped out of my hand, sorry about that. Didn't get a good shot for you guys because he flipped out of my hand. I'll wait out here a little bit further. See if I can, the wind is now starting. There's a fish. This is like a better one. Definitely a stronger fish. Log right there is a cool looking fish. What a pretty fish that is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but super cool looking. Kind of dark. Cool fish. He's gone. Okay, so I thought I would take a second to talk about the gear that I'm using today. I know a lot of you guys are interested in that. So I just have my standard 10 and a half foot three weight Euro rod for nymphs. I run just straight cider material for the leader, about 14 feet of it. And then I connect that directly to, this is an Orvis Pro Nymphing line, directly to that and then I run you know, off that cider, I run about four and a half to five feet of tippet for this river. If I'm in a shallower river or a different situation, I'll shorten that tippet. I like to run a single fly whenever I can, which is what I'm doing today, or I'll switch to a dry dropper on this rig. I really like that a lot. So that's kind of what I'm using as far as the um, nymphing setup goes. And then I have for dry flies, a nine foot three weight rod that I like to use a lot. And what I do is I blood knot the end of the line to some Maxima Chameleon uh, leader material. And so I'll, I'll run about five feet of tapered, you know, I'll like do blood knots and taper that down. And I'll run about five feet of that to a tippet ring. And then I build my leader off of that kind of butt section. So I have about four and a half, five feet of butt section that I always have attached to my three weight line. And then I build off of that. So today I'm running about 11 feet. So I have three sections of leader material down to my single dry fly. If that makes sense, tapered all the way down to five and a half X. 
um, tippet material. So those are the two rods that I'm using today. Mostly going with dry dropper on the Euro. I like to do that a lot because I'm able to hold the fly in pockets, which is something you can't do on a traditional dry fly rod. It's really hard to keep uh, a dry fly in a pocket if you're fishing pocket water without getting any drag on the fly. So that's something that you can do on a Euro leader that's really awesome is fish dry dropper and hold that fly, that dry fly. The dropper kind of anchors that dry fly into that pocket. And so I'll do that a lot if I'm fishing that kind of water, which is what we're doing today because it's really hot out and we're fishing the coldest water we can find, which is generally that faster flowing, more oxygenated water. Yeah, so I kind of just choose the tool for the job that fits the need. You know, the name of the game out here is to have fun and catch fish. And I find that, you know, Euro nymphing along with dry dropper on that and then having a dry fly rod kind of fits the bill and i'll run different rods for you know streamers and things like that if that's the type of thing i'm doing but for today that's what i'm using that's what's catching these fish so let's go see if we can find some more fish before it gets too hot out here there he is not a big fish but it's a fish, oh, oh, and he's gone. Huh. Okay, we're gonna move up. Okay, so that spot was just okay. We got a few fish there. I think it's important that we move up to some water that is colder. Right now, I think it's a little bit hot, and we should find some fish that are a little bit fresher, a little bit more lively, and go find some colder water real quick. Okay, new spot. I found some water. I don't know if you can see it behind me. It's pretty fast. This part of the water stays in the shade for a lot of the day, so it should be a little bit colder water. I'm about 10 miles upstream. Gonna just run a single nymph through here and see if we can pick up some a few more fish before the water gets too hot. I got I'm gonna set a timer on my phone for one hour and then I'm gonna get off the water just to protect the fish. So let's get that timer started and see what we can get done. Okay, put on a heavier bead. Water's pretty deep. Let's see if getting down faster helps at all. There's a fish. Jeez, finally. That's a good one too. Hopefully I can land him. Gosh, that took way too long, you guys. Heavier beads seem to do the trick. I don't want to play them too long. Sheesh, finally a proper fish. That fly out of his mouth. Hey bro, chill. Okay, that's a cool fish right there. He gone. Well, the hour's up. Ooh, it's hot. I'm not sure why I didn't wet wade today, but for some reason I decided against it. It's like 95 degrees. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Well, anyway, that's it for today. That last hour we got one fish, which I guess is good. Um, I was kind of hoping to do a little bit better than that, but I think that this warm temperatures and the water, you know, elevating the temperature kind of had something to do with that. Anyway, if you guys like the videos, hit subscribe and hit the like button. Um, you know, let me know what you thought of the video down below in the comments, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys again next Tuesday for another video.